Well, this is Rod. I'm on Elliott Lake again. It is Monday the 20th of February, 10 o'clock. And I just caught my first fish, ice fishing ever. And it's a beautiful trout, a nice eater size. Take a look at that. I've been out, out ice fishing a few times since my last video and I haven't got anything and I figured I'd stop filming until I finally got a fish. I got this on a silver Williams. Oh, well, there's the lure right there. This is going to be a beautiful eater. So this lake trout is 19 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gut it. Put the put everything in a bag, take it home. Yeah, I also learned that you can't you can't throw the guts down the ice hole. Wow, there's a lot of little minnows in this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And some of them are pretty big. Look at this. Look at all. That just shows you what they've been eating. Wow. So I'll leave the fish on the ice to freeze. I'll put it in a bag later and the guts I'll put in a bag. And all the little fish. There's some eggs in here. I brought a thermos of, two thermoses of hot water. So I'm going to wash my hands right now. <laughs> After catching and gutting that fish, everything I have smells fishy now. My hands and gloves and stuff. It's actually a nice smell. I miss that fishy smell. This fish finder I'm using is a uh, Garmin Striker 4. I got it at Canadian Tire maybe four or five days ago. It didn't come with a uh, ice fishing transducer. <laughs> I didn't realize that that you need one. And uh, the first time I went out, it told me the depth, but that was about it. And then I did some investigation, and I figured uh, I figured out that you have to uh, you know mount the transducer, so it's I guess the sensor is parallel to the bottom. So what I ended up doing was, if you see, it's underwater right now, but I just made that T and I mounted the transducer on that. I'll show it to you a bit later when I take it out. Now this is a portable um, fish finder, obviously, and I'll be mounting it in my canoe in the summertime. It's got a relatively small screen, but see, I'm not used to fish finders. I've never had one. So, I mean, I'm fine with this. I'm still learning how to use it properly. So it's, it'll take me a little while to get the hang of it. Okay, so let me show you the uh, what I did with the transducer setup. So all I did was uh, that's a one by three piece of balsam. 
I just cut it down two bolts with wing nuts and when I take these off I can put this across just to reduce the size of it and this is a transducer if you notice you want this piece right here to be parallel and I've I just mount it with a, sort of a bungee cord and if I wanted to I could put it at different depths So, let's put it back in there. It's a pretty nice day out. Although it's around minus 10. A little bit of a wind coming from that direction. <laughs> that direction being Elliot Lake town of Elliot Lake. Now the access point where everybody parks right here is it's called Spine Beach just off of Spine Road and <laughs> I'm only like a half a kilometer from my car. Every once in a while the ice cracks. I'm not used to this and is it is a bit disconcerting. You feel the ice is gonna crack and I'm gonna fall in but uh, that's just uh, <laughs> ice expanding and contracting and whatever it does. And the ice here is, uh, geez, it's almost a foot deep. So I think I'm pretty safe. Well, it's 11.32 and people are starting to arrive. There's a little cabin right over there and there's at least three people involved two ATVs so I think I'm going to hit the road. <laughs> See I'm a I'm an early bird and I've already got my fish. Well it's just past noon and I'm on my way back. It's family day today I didn't realize it was a public holiday so there's quite a few people out here. Anyway, I'm happy. I caught my one fish. I'm gonna go home and eat it. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Until I see you again, take care now. Time to go home and cook some fish. Not the easiest thing to cut in half, it's so slippery. Oh. Okay, so I've got this one, I may bake it. And this one, I'm gonna fry it. Boy, I can't believe how slippery this is. No, I think I'll just leave it all like that. I'll just wash it up so this is what we got out of it so I'm gonna have two meals this I'm probably gonna bake a bit later and these two pieces I'm gonna fry soon I'm gonna soon fry them looks so good. Time to turn on the heat.
you got to add seasoning. So here we have pepper. And a little bit of salt. Oh, it's almost there. Yeah. Just a thicker piece needs a little bit more. You got to wash the dishes. Raylene, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing at the door? You gonna go out? You're letting all the cold air in. Oh. This is Grayling. Taste test. Mmm, let's see. Oh, wow, is that ever good and fresh. Mmm. Oh, that lake trout is so good. Makes it all worth it. <laughs> Those three days out there where I didn't catch nothing, and I finally got one. My first Elliott Lake trout. I still haven't had any skin, so let's try some skin. Okay, here's a nice big piece. Unfortunately, I can't describe how good this smells and tastes. Trout is such a nice fish to eat. Oops. Grayling, what are you doing? Hey Grayling, say goodbye to everybody, say Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye bye.